everybody. I want to welcome you again to Emily's Cupboard. Um, one of the things that has been so much fun for me is to go on the YouTube channels that have featured uh, table settings, tablescapes, because that's one of the things that I've always liked to do is to set a table. Um, a lot of my dishes I have sold or I've given away, um, but a lot of them I have kept. And so this is just a real good venue for me to pull these things out and have fun. But I did a blue and orange theme. Um, I'll start and I'll show you my dishes. They are so pretty. And if you can get a close-up of that, you can see that all of the painting or the embellishment around the rim, it's raised up and it's just a beautiful pattern. It's called autumn. I've never considered it an autumn dish for some reason or an autumn dish set. It just, um, because of the colors, but it is a beautiful, beautiful piece. I'm going to set that down and underneath that, of course, we've got the little salad plate and we've got the dinner plate, but we also have the blue chargers and they're very fancy. I thought that they just matched so well with the blue that was in the plates and I placed them on another gold charger. Just put that back. And then I want to show you the blue goblets. They are very nice. They're just a very pretty blue. Just a not cob cobalt blue or a baby blue, but just a very pretty blue color. And they are from Fit and Floyd. I want to say Fritz and Floyd when I say that because I have several of their pieces but this is very nice there again it goes very nice with uh, the color scheme. I also used my gold flatware. It's very very fancy and so you would use this for more of a formal dinner party I don't use it very often anymore, but I've had it for over 40 years now. My husband brought, bought me uh, the place setting, and then his mom added to it, and so it just built up and built up, and it was just a fun, fun um, addition to the different flatwares that I have. Um, I only have the two coffee cups and saucers. I couldn't find the other two. And I don't know if I even have the other two, but I was I was looking and it only came up with two. The flower arrangement that I made. I took the lid off this, um, it was from Kirkland's, it had a lid, and I just took the lid off of it and I placed some um, faux little tangerines that can be seen through the glass. And then I just started pulling some of my artificial flowers and building on this pretty flower arrangement. I thought it turned out really well because I don't do flower arrangements. I was able to use my candlesticks that were also a gift from my husband. And I just took some very plain little candle rings I kind of just took the same theme and added the color scheme and with the blue taper candles. So it just kind of flowed together. And then even being able to add some of those colors to one of my Hobby Lobby plants and um, it just seemed to flow. And even my little tiered trays here, same colors making it really nice, uh, inviting to the eye. I also wanted to show you how cute, very cute, my very, very fancy butter dish is. So I'm gonna let, get a close
close up of that. It's got a domed lid. It swivels. You put your butter in here. The butter holder comes out and it's deep enough that you can put some ice chips in there to keep your butter cold and nice. Um, it's kind of unique. Kind of, I always thought with my family that it was a good conversation piece as we said, please pass the butter. <laughs> and then um, use the orange napkins just to, there again, just bring out that pop of orange. Not too much, but just enough to you know, pull it all together. Um, I always like to offer my guests some sort of little favor at the play setting, and I've had these, I've had tons of these uh, that I've given away with their uh, place little treat. Then I just put a little candy in there at each play setting, and I'm gonna get to eat some of these after I finish doing this video. Um, it has been fun, but like I say, what an inspiration to watch the channels that some of you ladies have truly been so inspiring to um, be able to pull out some of my stuff and to set a table. Um, so I want to thank you for that. One thing I didn't mention was one of my very favorite things and I don't want to leave it out because it's so pretty. Um, that's my tablecloth and I've had it for a long time. I bought it at one of the um, Galleria antique stores here in town and I've had it, well I bought a couple of them and I've had it for a long time but fits perfectly with almost any of my play settings and I remember buying it and it was only $12 so of course I had to have two. <laughs> um, my set here is a hooker set. It's called hooker furniture. It's so sturdy. I love it. It has held up so well. It's kind of distressed. Um, it's got this kind of I guess, straw or wicker for seating. But it's held up so good. It's like a, a rattan look. And so I was able to put a leaf in my little table that I have here in the kitchen nook. Um, and it worked out real good because I don't have the big dining room table. My big dining room table is out in the garage now and so used this and it worked out so good. Um, thank you so much for all of your inspiration and for tuning into my channel. So if you've enjoyed this, I would so appreciate if you would subscribe to Emily's Cupboard. Thank you and see you next time. Bye-bye.